Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm going to be using some Glam and Glitz colours. Uh, the first one is Ultraviolet. This is a deep purple and it's a glow in the dark acrylic. I'm going to be using Emily, which is like a grey, but it's got a purpley sheen to it. I don't know if you saw it then when I moved it in the light. And I'm also using Central Perk, which is a really nice pink. I'm going to be using, I think this is Wish Upon a Star glitter from Nail Sugar. I don't know why I want to call it Sugar Rush, but I'm pretty sure it's not Sugar Rush. But I will put the description box down below. Uh, I'll put the description down below. And this is the Candyland collection. I'm going to be using some of those colours today. And I'm also going to be using some white and pink Mylar Flakes, also from Nail Sugar. And the acrylic from Neo is warm beige. This is going to be for our nail bed. And obviously crystal clear to cap the nails after we have created them. That's the right word. I couldn't find, but I found it in my head and it came out of my mouth. <laughs> Success. Um, so I'm going to be using the warm beige to create my nail bed. I'm doing the reverse smile line method. So the first bead I put on to create the actual smile line. I do I do faff quite a lot with nail reverse smile line nail beds. I don't know why. I don't know, does everyone do it or is it just me? I just find I faff a lot. Um, then I'm going in with a cuticle bead. Don't worry if the smile line isn't perfect because later on we do go around it with a hand file to crispen it up so don't panic too much at this point. See now I'm sitting in now thinking come on <laughs> get on with it love. Right the middle finger I'm gonna do like not really a marble not really a unicorn nail it's kind of like a bit of both. So at the free edge, no, at the, it, I'm going to put each of the three Glam and Glitz colours on the nail in a kind of curve um, and kind of blending into each other, but not really blending into each other, but just like gently putting the colour on and then fading it down and then putting the next colour on and fading it down. The purple is quite a sheer purple. Especially if you use it wet, it's just a little bit of a pickle. But you can see what I'm doing. I mean, I'm not, it doesn't have to be neat. This isn't like, we're not doing color blocking here. So just using each color. And then lastly, the pink. And then I'm gonna leave that for a second, just to set up. So I'm going to use, this is Periwinkle Twinkle from the Candyland collection and I've got, I think this is Candy Floss. There's another pink called Marshmallow Sprinkles but it's, it's a bit lighter. So I'm just putting Periwinkle Twinkle sort of over the purple and then I'm putting the Candy Floss over the pink and I'm going to do that all the way down the nail. I love 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 iridescent glitters I actually love hollow glitters as well but I think I just love iridescent and hollow glitters so you can see this is a chunky mix it's got it's got fine mi fine glitters and chunky glitters I'm also going to put some of this mylar um, I like to take some out and put it on my paper towel and then I like to just choose the bits that I want to put on the nail so I just, just randomly find a few pieces and then it's just really nice when the light hits it. Like, look at that, I just think that is so beautiful. So you can still see the acrylic underneath but you get all the colour from those iridescent glitters. Um, going around the smile line with my hand file. And then I'm going to brush off the dust. And now we're ready to work on this finger. 
Right, this is a little bit tricky. It's not tricky, but I've gone down the centre of the free edge with the grey acrylic Emily. And I want to make like a grey line down the middle. We're not colour blocking, by the way. It might look like it, but we're not. So we're going to kind of blend them in, but not... They don't have to be off. They don't have to be like properly, like a proper ombre blend. So I just want the grey. And then one side, I'm going to put the purple. So going up the smile line and then fading it down towards the free edge and then just sort of blend it over the grey. But it doesn't have to be like a perfect blend because again we're going to cover a lot of the nail with some glitters. Then the other side is obviously going to be the pink. Again don't cover the grey but you want to kind of gently sort of blend it a little bit <clears throat> then I put some mylar flakes on I can't remember if I used the pink one I think I used the white ones for this nail I then decided it needed some glitter so I went in with I'll show you in a minute but I'm just putting random bits of mylar all over the nail. Not all over the nail, all over the free edge. I really, really, really like this set. <laughs> I thought it just made a change from doing autumn nails. This is snow globe. This is also going on the free edge. It's really pretty. I have got some Halloween sets coming up this week as well. I've got a couple of Halloween sets that I'll be doing. And what else have I got? Oh, someone asked if I could do a geode gel polish nail. So I've done a set. Um, I've done a set for that. Um, I do need to do another set for Friday. But I'll have to do that today or tomorrow. If you've got any suggestion. Oh, Tinkerbell. I need to do a Tinkerbell set. Someone asked if I'd do a Tinkerbell set. Um, so I'll have to try that. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that one, actually. Um, so this finger is the index and I'm just putting the ultraviolet at the cuticle area and I'm leaving the free edge clear and I'm going to put this beautiful wish upon a star glitter at the free edge and I'm not going to put it all the way down the nail I'm going to sort of do a kind of fade but not really because it's I don't know um, I just love all the bits in this it's got cherry blossoms stars mylar glitter it's just it's just gorgeous so I leave it like that I'm just gonna put a little bit of wet acrylic over the bits so they don't move when I come to cap them because I hate that <laughs> you get everything perfectly where you want it and then you go to cap and it all moves so I'm putting Emily on the pinky oh, this is just an ever such ever such a thin layer of Emily and then I'm going over with the Wish Upon a Star Glitter again. I also go over it with, uh, do I show it here? Yeah, Periwinkle Twinkle, we go over the top. Like I literally just packed it all on this nail. <laughs> the more the merrier. And a little bit more mylar. <laughs> oh dear. Look how I just think it's so pretty though. I can't help myself. This, oh god, this was a bit of a nightmare. So I wanted to do like an ombre, but the colours weren't the easiest to ombre because the purple is like a sheer purple and the pink is like a creamy pink. And then I've just to go, I've just start putting the pink bead on, right? And then the bloody postman rings the, the doorbell, doesn't he? The buzzer goes and it's the postman. So look, I put this on here and I get here and then the postman comes and I'm like, shit. So it gets left like this, like this for ages. And then I come back, but I've got this bump, right? This bump going on at the cuticle area. Can you see? So I'm having to put, I'm trying to cover it up. And then I'm trying to, create the blend again so I have to go back in with some purple 
and I mean normally I'm pretty good at ombres but this one just did not like me very much at all not even an incy wincy bit so do you know what I done I covered that shit up with glitter <laughs> see look it's just all going horribly wrong I think I just left it like that I'd had enough by this point I don't want to keep adding acrylics I didn't want the nail to get thick and bulky because I wanted to put the glitter on so I've gone in with um, Okay, mylar, yeah. I'm this is what I do. I take mylar out, I put it on the paper towel so that I can pick particular bits out. Um, but I've also gone in with some of the periwinkle twinkle and I'm putting it on the nail. So I picked it up with a bead of clear acrylic, but it looks a little bit all over the place at the minute, but I do kind of rearrange it to go on the nail in like a an S shape or a swoopy shape a rope dope <laughs> I think that's from a film I watched what's that film called rope dope Christian Slater and John Travolta face off no nope, not face off no nope, no nope, no nope. I know the film but I can't think anyway pointless information we don't need to hear about this I'm putting the mylar on now then I decide that it looks rubbish so I get some of the stars from the Wish Upon a Star Glitter and I pop a couple of those on for extra measure. I don't know if I put anything else on, I can't remember. Oh look, a bit of Mylar. <laughs> anything else? No, I think that's it. Okay, so this is the nails finished, not finished, but ready to cap in clear acrylic. Oh, I love them. I could just stare at them forever. So once I've capped them and filed and buffed them, I don't show that on camera, but I do use these AB crystals from Nail Sugar. They're mixed sizes from SS3 to SS16. Um, I'm using my Kiara Sky Base Dip Essentials to adhere the crystals. Um, I do put the base on, but I don't show you me putting the base on. I just show you me putting the crystals on with my wax pencil from AliExpress. So the long crystal is not from Nail Sugar. I can't remember where I got those from. Um, but I just wanted to put that down the centre of the middle finger. Oh my god, they look so nice. And then I'm just going to do on the thumb a little bit of like a crystal... I was going to say crystal cruster. <laughs> <laughs> a crystal cluster oh I love these AB crystals oh my god they just look amazing on this set I'm gonna be using CBD tempered top coat to top coat the nails just my favorite bit so just be careful I've said it before I'm gonna say it again just be careful when you're top coating with crystals on the nail but the brush up to the crystals but not over the top otherwise they will lose their sparkle Let me know in the comments below which is your favourite nail of this set. I, to be honest, struggled to choose. I'm going to top coat the back of this nail as well because it's, it's like see-through. So if we just top coat the back, it will just give it a little bit more clarity. Is that the right word? Oh, it's so nice. I think. Okay, so it's a top up, top up. It's a toss up for me between this one and the pinky. I'm not sure which is my favourite. Had a little bit of, I think there was a little bit of hair on the brush then, so I had to get it off. Look, that one is gorgeous. This one's quite nice too. By the way, don't forget if you want to place an order with Nail Sugar, if you use the code NATMUGOCT, you can get 10% off your entire order 
throughout October. So do take advantage of that. See, look, this one looks lovely. Oh, look at it in a minute. When I look, oh my giddy aunt. Why do they say that? That poor aunt, if she's giddy all the time. <laughs> so this is the set finished. I freaking love them. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you did like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Um, and I will see you all tomorrow with a halloween -y set. Nightmare before Christmas, anyone? <laughs> Laters!